Hey, let's take a look at GE down about 59% from its 52 week high. I remember, Shaw, when it got around 20, it, the talk was, hey, this is the bottom. I don't know, a lot of guessing. At a 13, 12, new CEO, this is the bottom. Now we've cracked 10. And uh, some people are now still bottom fishing on this. I, I would bottom fish in terms of day trade, maybe. I don't think I would ever hold GE in a long-term basis. It's a dinosaur in terms of the businesses, the size of the businesses that they have in the areas that they're in. They're too big. They're a behemoth. It's hard for them to grow their potential earnings and their profitability on, in those companies. But do and they, how they throw they, off cash? I mean, well, you know, because it feels no, to not, me not they've, enough. Sold the, they've sold their best. They're in the process yes. of selling or have sold their better assets. Yes. Yeah. And they still have to, they have a huge pile of debt. And I'm worried now, I think a lot of folks are worried about, analysts are worried about, that with the, the earnings, are they going to be able to pay off the debt? Are they going to be able to service their debt? That's the problem. Jeff? Yeah, well, this is exactly You're what you said. You're a value guy. Through. Yeah, I, and I'm looking at it. I would date this stock. I would not marry it. I mean, they, they are, they've sold off a lot of their best stuff, and they've held on to the things that aren't working. I mean, you go back to, to, to Amelt and some of the bad decisions that he made, that now they're reaping the seeds from, the, the, they're yeah. sowing the seeds yeah. from what, what he's done. This is problematic. This is probably going to end up in so a... So you're, you're dating. Yeah. That means you are kind of interested. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm interested, I'm, I'm interested go with the in analogy. a short-term pop. I mean, ah. it's going to... Well, Yes. I mean, also, I think that this should, could be a, case, a great case study on, on poor management and poor boards. I mean, Jeff Immelt inherited the most valuable company in the world mm. a long time ago. Jeff Shaw, thank you both very much.